you became an entrepreneur to make money. And don't forget, you became an entrepreneur to have a life. This is the Savvy Podcast, helping entrepreneurs connect with the vision that's bigger than themselves. Learn how to stop trading in your wife or husband and kids for your success. Get ready to have your beliefs about traditional leadership methods challenged and learn how to enjoy massive productivity gains and in less time than you can believe. This is the Savvy Podcast. Welcome to the Savvy Podcast. I'm Tim Marshall, and today I have the privilege of hosting Sean Castrina for a brief chat. Sean is a best-selling author, entrepreneur, and a highly sought-after speaker. His, he's a best-selling author as well, having written three books, including Eight Unbreakable Rules for Business Startup Success, The Greatest Entrepreneur in the World, and his most recent book, The World's Greatest Business Plan That Actually Works. So, you're going to be loved here on this podcast. He has contributed to articles to Forbes, to Money Magazine, Inc., Yuhu Finance, and countless others. He's guest lectured at some of America's finest colleges on entrepreneurship, and he has shared events with Tony Robbins, John Gordon, John Maxwell, Wax, blah, start that again, John Maxwell, and numerous others. He is also the host of the 10 Minute Entrepreneur Podcast, which has been in the top 10 business podcast on iTunes. So welcome, Sean. It's a privilege to have you with us today. But before we jump on in, we'd love to know whereabouts on this planet Earth you're currently residing. I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia. We're at UVA. They won the NCAA basketball championship the last time they had it. So University of Virginia, you know, uh, what is it like? uh, Who's our famous founder that I'm running a complete bank? Oh, my gosh. Who's the guy who was the architect, was the president and the founder of the school? And I'm completely running myself famous person and I completely blanked out on him Thomas Jefferson this. oh my gosh a uh, total blank like Thomas Jefferson is in every 600 yards in Charlottesville and I went blank so <laughs> no, no, no problems no problems we all know that feeling we all know that feeling yeah. oh beautiful sounds absolutely fantastic so seven questions in seven minutes is rapid fire so let's jump on in eh? all right I'll hit the timer who's who's your ideal client uh, aspiring entrepreneurs, those who are seeking to start a business, would love to start a business, passionate about the concept of being a business owner. So yes. aspiring entrepreneurs. Beautiful, beautiful. And what's the problem you solve for those entrepreneurs? I think what I've addressed is there's like six myths that prevent people from starting a business. They either, A, think they have to have this big idea, Uber, you know, Grubhub, Netflix, yes. or they think they have to quit their job to start a business, which uh-huh. they don't. They think they need a lot of capital, but they don't. <laughs> they think they need to understand business and or the industry, you know, have some type of business or industry experience. And that's, that's a myth. Yes. Uh, they think there's got to be a perfect time to start it. There's no perfect. And then they think that they currently have security because they have a job and, and employment is just an illusion. Yeah, yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely love that. So what are the typical symptoms of people are sitting here listening today? What are the symptoms they have when they have this, when they experience that problem? They're paralyzed. They just okay. don't move forward with it. It just, they keeps them in like a holding pattern, like a jet, you know, on the runway, you know, yes. everybody wants it to get off, you know, everybody wants it to start heading down the runway and it's just sitting there. Yes. Uh, yeah. You're just kind of, you're paralyzed because you think this is such an impediment to your success or to you moving forward. Sure. 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 So, if they're sitting here today and that this is resonating with them, what what are the common and they these they might go out there and try and solve this themselves? But what are the common mistakes people make make when they're trying to solve this problem? I, I think again they get caught up in that everything has to be perfect. Yes, they're just waiting for everything to align. They're waiting for the big idea. They're waiting to have enough capital. They're, you just have to. This is one of those where you you know you have a good idea. You just got to take some action on it. Yes. Uh, the longer you wait, that doesn't help you. Rarely do you, you know, you tend to lose interest in it and move on to something else. And and so that passion you once had is gone. Yeah. Production and perfection, right? It's uh, that's fantastic. So what's um, one valuable free resource that the audience could implement that would help them solve this, this problem? Yeah. 
take relentless action on one thing at a time. Yeah. Just find one thing you want to do, accomplish, achieve, and just massively do something every day on it. Just like beat away at it. And eventually you'll be shocked that it, it tends to fall down. Fantastic, fantastic. And we're going awesome for time here. So going on to number six, what's the valuable free resource that we can direct our people here today that could get they, where they could get further help with that problem? Yeah, I go to seancastrina.com, my personal site, and my first book, The Eight Unbreakable Rules for Business Startup Success, is there for free. Yes. So you just can download it, and that'll take you through. That'll really help you understand entrepreneurship a little closer, whether you have the right you know, stuff to be a good entrepreneur. I kind of hit you in the first chapter to kind of test you a little bit. So I think that'd be really helpful. Exciting. That's very, very exciting. So I would highly encourage everyone to jump on there. We will pop the link both wherever you're watching this or listening to this, we will have the link there for you. And no doubt if you have received an email, it'll be right within that email. And number seven, from all your years of experience, what's the most valuable free tip you can give our audience today? Fail early, get out there and do something. Don't wait, fail early, fail forward. In other words, learn something from it. Yes. Glean something from it and fail cheap. That's my secret. You don't have to fail going all in. You know, you can fail cheaply. So you can use a little bit of wisdom. You can kind of manage risk a little bit. You can modify how far you're going to jump in. So I tell people fail early, fail forward, fail cheap. Fantastic. This is fan absolutely fantastic. We we speak with our community, which will be that we're familiar with, but the the you know the thing the um lost drop on the right word but yeah. about wins and learns so philosophy of wins and learns and no losses so it, yeah. it, you know it, you don't have to have a loss if you make it a learn so the key thing with that is just having them often which is exactly exactly the same as what we're talking about here so hey we've got bucket loads of time so i appreciate you being super succinct um is there anything else you would love to share no, I mean, I, you know, I'm just, you know, you just, if, if you have a passion to start a business and it's not for everybody, I just always tell people, I have a daughter who's a school teacher, yes. doesn't have an entrepreneurial bone in her body. And she is fantastic at what she does. I have a wife who's a nurse and I have a son who's an entrepreneur and I'm an entrepreneur, Yes, but typically you're one or the other. Yes. And if you're an entrepreneur, you can tell you've got that burning. And I just say, Hey, if, if that's you, connect with my resources, the 10 minute entrepreneur podcast, my free books, because I can help you. If yes. you're an employee, I'm happy for you. Be the best, be the most invaluable, be the most talented, helpful employee you can be. No yes. wrong answer. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hey, this has been a lot of fun and I appreciate your time very much, Sean. And thank you for coming on. And no Great. doubt we'll be chatting again in the future. Great. Thank you so much for having me as a guest. No problem. Cheers. You've been listening to The Savvy Podcast, helping entrepreneurs connect with a vision that's bigger than themselves, stopping the trading in their wife and husband and kids for their success. We hope you've gotten some useful and practical information from this show, and we hope you had fun along the way. We know we did. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, if you want to know more about The Savvy Method, hit the website at www.thesavvymethod.com. We'll see you again soon.